Good afternoon, morning. It is Wednesday, my dudes, and so it's Brian's Guy time. There's been a ton of really good laptop specials updates, some very sneaky ones that almost snuck by the wayside along with the winter specials release. There's been a whole bunch for the laptops. And so I've put together a top eight of the very best ones for your consideration, all the way from like 12,000 Rand to like 30,000, 40,000 Rand. So there's a nice little something here in between, depending on your workload, if you're going to do more development cycle stuff or more gaming there's like i say just a little something in here for each and every one of you so without further ado let's jump straight into it and number eight we've got the lenovo ideapad gaming 3 in the ryzen 5 6600 h and the 3056 gig it's also got a very good screen which is why it made the list honestly it's 165 hertz on this particular unit uh which is a little over spec for what we see in the other ones which have about a 120 hertz display in general so this is a very very high-end ips monitor uh, built into it which is kind of cool uh 1080p as well a camera so it's got a better spec cam so this is this a little bit more corporate businessy kind of vibe uh, with that but still like high-end gaming mix in between the 3054 gig is limited by its video memory the 40 56 gig is generally better with gaming at 1080p just because of that um, i can generally set higher texture settings but the price versus performance here is pretty solid especially when it comes with 16 gig ram and a 512 gig ssd so i thought we got to throw that in as well and i believe this unit should come with a three-year warranty if i'm not mistaken hold on brain there it is there three-year warranty good job at number seven we have a beefy beefy boy it's a legion Pro 5, uh, yeah, it, Pro by nature, it's got a 13700HX. This is a true like workstation class laptop, and that's why it comes with 32 gig RAM and a 1 TB drive just off the back foot. It's also got a better than 1440p monitor, a 240 hertz IPS as well. So, um, this is quite a serious car. 4078 gig as well, and with DLSS3, you are going to be able to get to that kind of uh, refresh rate uh, and FPS. I would say quite easily um with this combination it's very very highly tuned it's also going to come with a three-year warranty so yeah this is like a um i just want to obliterate my gaming addiction problems in one file sweep at number six we've got a cheeky hp victus which is coming with the ryzen 5 5600 h which is a bit of an older spec um but 12 gig ram 512 gig ssd as well as a 144 hertz ips monitor with the 6500m which is basically just a little bit slower than the 3050 on average so at a price versus performance this is very aggressive if you're looking for an entry-level gaming notebook and you don't want to break your bank this is the one i would suggest you go for it does come as standard as you can see with a 256 gig ssd that's a little bit mint probably get it with a 512 and then you'll have a little bit of space on it it's going to have great uh, uh, added features and stuff because it's in a victor chassis so we know these chassis are pretty good they do have a little bit of screen bounce when typing but on a bang versus buck consideration these are extremely good as it's as it says after eight hours battery life i've actually tested it to about seven with continuous video playback so yeah the supporting components around this are very very nice running at the top off we've got the lenovo lock which is one of the best notebooks that we've ever tested i have done a review on pretty much this exact unit so i'll pop that out for you over here it has a lot more processor than graphics card but the 4056 gig is still very capable especially if you're going to be looking at playing more esports titles and a little bit more work function you can see from the chassis look and feel if i just go back to over there it's very businessy and it's very understated it's a lot cleaner looking and in general it goes a little little bit more into that vein than it does into like being a hardcore gaming station it's very sleek it's very nicely put together it's got a great webcam everything that you want from a like development sort of notebook and this the 13620h is a monster 10 core 16 threads uh comes with 16 gig ram and a 512 gig ssd as, as basic we love the three-year warranty on these as well lenovo is just kind of cleaning up out here with these as of late at number four, we've got one of the sneaky boys coming in from MSI. It's a 13900H with 16 gig RAM, one TB uh, NVMe with a 17 inch notebook form factor, uh, 1440p 
on the monitor to 40 hertz of that with the 4070 once again so this is just it, it's much bigger obviously than a 15 you go into 17. we don't see a lot of 17s these days and kind of makes me sad um in a lot of ways it's got the nice backlit keyboard and these pulse chassis are pretty solid the cooling and stuff on these is pretty good so yeah all around it is a really nice 17 inch notebook and therefore it deserved a, 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 an honorable mention in this list as it were at number three, we've got the Bang for Buck Gaming King. This is the Bang for Buck notebook. It's Ryzen 5 7535HS, which gets about 10,000 on multi threaded in Cinebench, but it gets like a pretty solid score on single core. And then you team that up with a 120 hertz IPS with that 4056 gig, 512 gig RAM. You might want to look at getting it with the extra memory, just pushing up 600 bucks and getting the dual channel memory is going to make a massive difference. Um, a gig is okay if you if you're just playing like one game and that's it but if you want a little bit of multi-threading performance and honestly that that dual channel memory buff of like 10 to 15 percent on average in performance really i would highly suggest it it's got a nice backlit keyboard once again your boy has done a review on this exact unit so we'll pop that out for you over there this is the second sneaky one ms this msr thin 15 has an incredibly good spec all its price point 12,650H is also 10 core 16 thread part, 16 gig RAM, 512 gig SSD, 1080p 144 hertz IPS with a 4056 gig for 19,000. It's very aggressive considering how much processor you're getting out of this unit. It's also going to have, obviously, being an MSI gaming chassis, very, as you can see, nice like layouts for it and easy upgrading and all of the other bits and pieces that we want to see along with that. So the price point for this spec, especially with that processor, is what I would call aggressive. And finally, my number one choice for a gaming notebook right now it's the best all-rounder that I can find currently on the eTech store is once again a Victus. Kind of unsurprising and it's on winter special. 13700H, um, which is a 14 core 20 thread part, 16 gig RAM, 512 gig SSD, 16 inch 144 hertz IPS. 4068 gig, they bumped that video memory up from 6 to 8 for this current generation. So on 1080p, this should now fly through games. You're looking at AAA gaming, absolutely maxed out if it's got dlss as well it's gonna be able to max that out too it's in one of the better chassis we love the victors it's a very very good bang for buck chassis in 24k it just with that processor and that gpu these are things that you can't upgrade through the product's lifetime and so yeah it just kind of has to go to the top spot at that price point there aren't many 4060s at this price point and none with with processors that powerful and the 4060 mobile is now very very good indeed so this easily for me takes the top spot and that concludes your top eight gaming notebooks for the week i, I we will have done a stream today as well i'm going to be playing some talk i'm going to be doing something a little bit creative next week i think i've got a plan maybe if someone orders a premium PC in Johannesburg, then we'll do another build card for next week or something to that effect. Uh, if you are looking at buying a machine, um, I'd love to help you spec it. And then we could do a build together on the channel even, which I think would be a lot of fun, especially if you're in the Kharteng region. I think that could be something that could be fun. Maybe we'll start doing stuff like that uh, going on the channel. Who knows? If there's something specifically you guys want to see on the channel, please do let us know in the comments down below. If you've liked, if you've enjoyed, this hit us up with a like and subscribe and i'll see you on the flip side